if we hadn't done this, none of those young people would be on their way to becoming physicians. More than 4,000 hopefuls for just 40 positions. That's more applicants per opening here at the University of Central Florida this year than at Harvard. And the scholarship? We admitted 41 students. This is our charter class. Each student will have tuition and living expenses paid for all four years. The thing I'm most proud of is being his partner in that, get it approved through the state. Without John Hitt, it wouldn't have happened. I'm a first-generation college student. There's always been obstacles in the way. There have always been individuals who would tell you, oh, that's, that's too hard. And because he was able to take his dream and make it a reality, my dream is now becoming a reality as well. Everything he seems to touch turns to success, and so we're really grateful for him. He has no idea the impact of what he's begun. Medical City is unique in the United States in many ways. It takes a lot of courage for somebody to take on such a task like this, to open a new medical school, to create this, this beautiful medical city with the College of Medicine at its forefront. Without UCF making that commitment to Lake Nona and developing this area and having all, you know, the future hospital that's going to be built, and we have the VA around the corner, there's going to be jobs, and I'll be able to be here and serve and support. That's where I want to be. I embraced people that were bigger and bolder, that, that had a clear vision. Imagine what UCF would have been like without John Hitt. I hope that Dr. Hitt will forever be proud of the legacy that he's left here with medical school. I will miss him. I've loved working with him, and he's given the greatest gift to our community.